Hi, Mama. Hi, Trini. How are you? I'm great. What are we doing today? We are doing trouser suits, and they are something that lots of you might switch off at this moment, thinking I used to wear them for work and they don't apply anymore. Trouser suits are one of the coolest trends, and it seems early to talk about trends, but I just want to give you some inspiration. Ten different looks you can do with a trouser suit. It's okay. not that classic going to work. It can be like really fidgeted and sexy like we've got here. We've got the kind of nothing underneath apart from a bra in a lovely bright pink. We've got that classic off the shoulder skinny trouser. Not a look I love. We've got kind of mad suit where the print is everything. We've got kind of oversize, 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 oversize. Because influencers love nothing more than an oversize suit. And I think that puts people off. So I've got lots of old friends here and I buy trouser suits from lots of places. So me and M is a classic one and they always do something which has a great trouser. And I like a trouser suit with a white leg, which is why I looked at this. And I thought that's not for me. And that's probably because of my body shape because uh, she has a very long leg and a shorter torso. So the line of the jacket will end below her bum. If I have jackets like this, and this is a very tight leg, it sort of shows you more um, <laughs> that my legs are quite short and my, bo and my body's quite long and that the jacket doesn't quite fit in the right place. Whereas with a wide leg trouser, you, that's all the bum end is hidden you just look at the waistline of the trouser so it gives you a sense of an elongation of leg and it allows you to kind of just tweak how you want to have your waist and how you want to have the flow of the outfit yes and i normally think of trouser suits being dark like black or navy so that's a great color this is such a great color and this is a summer one and you know I do my half tuck and I wear it with a shirt. In the summer, I wear it with like a padded white t-shirt. So it's really easy, I'm with a trainer. So I'll play it down, take off the jacket, and I just like hanging around like that. So it's easy, it's very comfortable. But I wanna go on now to some really cherished things that I've got over the years that still are relevant. I'm gonna start off with one of my favorite buys from Zara. The only way I'll do a slightly tighter trouser, which is with a very high heel. And I've got on a really old Saint Laurent pair of boots. But when I look in the mirror at this, I sort of think, I like the 70s vibe. I like that kind of having the polar neck up top. I'm not trying to fight the color. I have worn this jacket with neon yellow, but if I wanted to, change that and then I might do a different look and really just tuck it in the collar there the thing again with the trouser suit that you either wear it classically like this right which feels very normal or you really make something of pushing it up and showing another color so it just makes this for me have another lease of life and feel cool yeah and um I think when you've got a tweed or you've got a velvet or you've got a really classic fabric in trouser suit, it's using that very contrasting modern technology feeling fabric that brings it into the 21st century. Yeah, and just yeah. not wearing a shirt makes it just so much cooler, doesn't it? It does, doesn't it? Shirts and trouser suits make it the most classic. Yeah. When I was in Spain, before my no shopping kicked in, <laughs> I went to the shop and I got a few belts. So I was just thinking, what if I took everything off and made it sexy? Could I make tweed sexy? For this, I'm not actually gonna do a bright red lip. I'm going to do Yossi, which is one of our flush flushes, on my lip, because I just want a deep lip. I think it goes well with the look I'm doing. So that's my final look. It's having that quite sophisticated lip Jemima, which I feel is a lip I don't always do, but I, I like the look of it it's instead gorgeous. of being the obvious red. And I've done Yossi Flush Flush, but it's taking a belt over and hiding the button. And it just gives it that look of tailoring your shape. You know, the belt is quite narrow. I was thinking to myself, I could also switch it around. Sometimes when you have a longer body, having the wider bit at the back is quite nice. Yeah. And then having that at the front. I like both ways. Yeah. So but I think covering the button makes it look really expensive. It does. It takes away any detail that might show you it's from a, you know, 59 pound jacket or whatever. I think it would have been literally 29 pounds and 59 pounds. Mm. And then accessories wise, I went in doubt. You always go to leopard print, don't you? And that's what I would do. Is I'll go to leopard print. You see, leopard print never lets you down like that. So many of you might have a fun Zara trans suit that has a pattern on like this one. And I also got this one, you know, which is a bit more wintry, but this is definitely a summer version. I was going to get rid of it, but in fact, it's really comfortable and easy. It's floppy. 
So what I do is I then sort of pace and I think, <laughs> okay, how can I winterize it? So I'll look at the colors. Yes. And I'll think, first of all, I don't want to wear it with trainers. I want to wear it with boots. So I'm going to get my boots like this. It's about taking a short sock like that, turn it like that, twist it, and then just put my sock over it. And then I put my boots on. Now the length of the boot is important. But you want to have some room there that it could look like a part of the boot. And so you that's... don't want to have any skin on show. No, you is don't. The... I think for this, you just want to have that long making without too many breaks because already I'm breaking the fabric. And okay. even though there's a wedge on the back, it can make your legs shorter. So that's that. But then I need to make this top half more wintry. So I can either go for a classic jumper color that will go with it, which will be fine. We could try that. Oh. That is so not mine. I've never seen I've that before never in seen my life. Before. Although it's a perfect color Maybe for the trousers. Know, but I'm gonna wear it back to front because I don't like the V-neck there. I'm just gonna wear that back to front so I've got the color right in my neck. And then I'm going to put that on top like that. Then I'll have a look in the mirror. So what I'm thinking is because I feel my legs are a little bit short, so I need to just kind of do that so you can have some length of leg happening. But I feel warm. I could actually do that with it and then put a coat on top, which is a sort of clash print. <laughs> um, so we've got that there. I yeah. love it, I feel it's good. I feel it's a cross body bag. Oh gosh, these are such perfect colors, um, Trini. This. And then that brings back the jumper and it brings it all together. Yeah, I like how you've done up the jacket underneath the coat. Yeah, there was a moment for a while where my legs looked really like matchsticky short. And I think bringing the jumper color back to the outside of the coat, I love yeah. the shape of the coat. This is an old um, and other stories mm -hmm. coat. That's Murray's, Zara. And your lip looks great with that. I know, I'm just thinking, I don't need to change that no. lip, do I? Because it just, it's that wintry color. Yeah, slightly yeah. berry, but yeah. neutral. Yeah. yeah, love it. I'm loving this look. I literally want to wear this look to work today. Yeah, it's really good. This is an old Givenchy suit that I got at Tokyo 7. And I don't know if you remember, my journey to Tokyo 7 is a secondhand store in New York. And last year, or no, two years ago, or last year, yeah. I got the one which was um, oh. a Yoji Yamamoto original done by his tailor with that lovely chrysanthemum cool. on one side and then a plain black pair of trousers. So I got my second one, which is a really dark navy man Givenchy suit. Now men's suits are cut differently. So generally, if you have hips, they're not good. I do have a bit of a hip, but if you're an hourglass, they won't be cut right for you. And also they're gonna be shorter in the crutch. How am I gonna style it up so it feels good? And it is nearly black and I don't want to have too much black near my face. I remember I had done it in the shop with this long thing, which I've now lost, but I've got another way to recreate it. So the beginning of my process is to take my Dries Dickey because I want some silver by my face. So I've got that on first. I'm going to take my really old cost bit of layering, which if I ever did a clothing range, I would make this because it just makes everything work. And now I can afford to actually put the back of my heels in the shoe and mm -hmm. make my legs the short lengths they were because this is now covering. Yeah, and it's kind of slightly transparent. transparent. Yeah, and then I'm going to do that up. It's taken away from it looking too much like a man's suit because it's not with a shirt. And it's, this whole thing actually, the theme is, we're moving away from a shirt under a trouser suit, and that's something that I think keeps coming up. I'm loving this, but I'm gonna take it off. <laughs> Even though I don't want to. And the reason I feel I don't want to be shiny is it's a man's suit. So I'm feeling a little bit of Phoebe, that sort of pinky red. Um, and seeing if that's the way to go. Yeah, I like that actually. It's still wintry. Sorry, I put so much on, I've become a trout pout. Gives you the idea though. I'm doing this quite masculine look, so what would I do bag-wise? Mm. I haven't worn this yet. This could be the moment to do it. This is a bag I got in Australia, but I like the fact that this has a relationship with the back of the, the bottom of the um, thing. Yeah. So it's from a brand called Dion Lee. Dion Lee. It's an Australian so brand. So cool. But it's really cool. Should I wear this today to the office? Because I want to wear all of them today to the office. <laughs> Yeah, I love this. This is so cool. Yeah. This is so cool. so cool. I want to emulate Bianca Jaggi here, so there's a lot to do. So I'm going to put on the 70s shoe. We all love that image of her getting married. I don't have a floppy hat. But, bugger, the trousers are too short. The good thing about me and Em is they give you a lot of space for trouser legs, so that it's not going to be some mean hem. Yeah. So that I, and they also, these come down really easily. 
good and bad at that. Um, but now, I've got that Yanga Jagger moment, do you see? Yes. It makes such a difference when you get the right trouser maker. Always look at the hem real estate. That's the idea of it. Very we cool. could go right full into it and do a floppy hat. That's a Bianca moment coming along. I don't know if you remember what makeup Bianca had, but the first thing is, should we be going down that path? Should we be copying exactly? Because I think what we loved about Bianca is she was wearing no bloody makeup because she's so gorgeous. She just didn't need any. So I'm gonna keep it simple. I'm just gonna do some little, whatever I pick up here. So I'm going to do a little Lady J and Nicole, like that mixture. So this is a little, tea tone pot we did but i'm doing that light lip and a little nickel there and then i'll put that on the cheek i love that look honeys lean in all the way and feel it i love this really cool do, do, do. i was in two minds about this suit so we can do this look for the suit mm -hmm. all right but i could just say okay i want to be serious now so a little quick winterization Probably I might change the shoe, but just like, you know, my sleeve, like that. I might do my neon coat, or I could do a sort of long coat from Zara, like that. And then we sort of winter white with a bit of neon, and I might even just go full on, actually, a bit of neon. And I could do, in fact, I could take that off, and then I could go and just bring that neon outside of the outfit. I, and Koala in America, this woman gave it to me. Koala Yeah, it's such a good bag because it's like you can take it in the wet. But that's just, you know, summer to winter. Total change of look. There's certain times you can create your own trouser suits and that's when you take either a print, like leopard print, and you know my love leopard print. So with this, I'm going to do a little half tuck one way and half tuck the other way. They're both from Zara. This is about seven years old. This is about five years old. And then I'm taking my favourite little Zara jacket, which I usually wear with the Zimmerman. I've got to do some buttons in a minute. Mm -hmm. But it's sort of like doing a nod towards a trouser suit. And I think it's better sometimes to do it with print than to do off colours of blues and navies. You know, yes. it, but then it's not a trouser suit, then it's a blazer with a pair of trousers. But when you do a print, it can be more forgiving. So for me, I just like the ease of that. It feels like you're taking it to a different place as a trouser suit. Yeah. But you're still, you've got a jacket and trousers that kind of are in the same family. It's really good, smart, casual. It's a nice smart casual, isn't it? It's yeah. great for summer. I took these trousers up. They were a little bit longer and I just wanted that sort of ankle skimming moment. Mm -hmm. it's great for summer. Yeah. All right, next. I flung this all on together because I want to show you a pinstripe suit. And it's very dragging down, but it's quite sort of unstructured, you know. And by having the shirt fully out, by having an interesting shirt with really good cuffs. And, and it, to me, it's about having fantastic cuff detail. And this is a very old Celine shirt with a Zara suit. But it makes me feel okay to just, like, have my legs looking short because the proportion's wrong. Mm -hmm. But I need to just see if that was just a tweak of looking at it in the mirror. I think because I've kept this bit undone, you know, it's not like that. And when you walk, it's always yes. across. There's a little bit of movement. So it could be that you have a little tiny top on underneath and you just keep the button open. Yeah. You know? It's and that's like, one of those trends that they said the oversized. I love yeah. the laziness of it. Yeah. It works. Yeah. Laziness. I like that, la <laughs> that laziness. And I think, you know, if you're not comfortable with your tummy, you could just wear a body underneath. Because, you know, if I had all these buttons on and done up and this one undone molly would say you haven't done up your button but it's got to be purposeful so that yeah. when you put your hand in your pocket you're bringing some of the fabric to the side and it's just a different way to do a little gentle sexiness so i just want to show you this because i love it and i haven't worn it since i bought it in australia but this is zimmerman and this is kind of an evening trouser suit but still wearing jeans now the one thing about zimmerman is they're not great with their shoulder their arm lengths mm. this is actually a bracelet suit so i have to wear something with it or i feel that classic so what material is it Trudy? it's jeans it's jean fabric oh. with velvet so i feel if i'm going to that evening moment i want to do a bit of a smoky eye so i'm just going to put a little bit of chalice which is that lovely sort of mauvey gray soft on a blue eye fabulous on a brown eye and just give a little bit of smoke like that i'm going quite high up just for ease of giving the idea of it like that Gentle. And then if I had an eyeliner, would I do something? Just a sort of extra bit of a line here. Yeah. 
Yes, I think that's enough. So, there you have it. Just a little sexy evening trouser suit in a fabric that's a jeans fabric. So to have a trouser suit in a fabric that you feel is casual, I think allows it not to feel so formal and work-like. It just feels sexy. And then the Diamante button is a lovely added touch. I haven't seen these on the high street yet. No, I haven't seen these on the high street yet. I mean, this is where you can take a jeans jacket and a pair of jeans and make something, you know. I am aware that when I have the buttons done up, the mm -hmm. length of my crutch to my buttons I'm aware of. So I just oh. have to say, I do think, I mean, it's a small detail for me, but I think I prefer it sometimes if it's open because then you see the height of the waist of the trouser. Yes. And it doesn't um, make my torso look so long. So I have worn this with a little shirt underneath. Yeah. Oh, I love the cut of the jeans. It's a great cut of yeah. the jeans, isn't it? And that little velvet going around the side is good. Very good. All right, next. This is about contrast colours, and this is about how you can, in a way, um, build upon colour and make it not that you're wearing a top, which the colour pokes through, but bringing the colour to really meet the outside of the suit. So okay. it's helpful that these essential Antwerps have a little hand thing, and it's helpful that it's cord so I can pull up the sleeve, but I think it's really important about pulling up that little sleeve bit there. Yeah. Here's my black orange bag. This is our cat. Oh, and where's the suit from? And the suit is from Cos. When you look at the colour wheel, what's the contrast colour? So blue and orange is pulling up the sleeve, bag over, bringing more colour there. I might even think, well, I scarf it in some way. There is something. And I think I have this in orange. Mm -hmm. I wouldn't feel bad to have that dirty orange with that orange because there's the dirty orange there. Yeah. So it's just that whole, you know, getting a big scarf that becomes a coat. Sometimes with the trouser suit, the least you do, the more boring it looks. Yeah. You know, and it's just about layering and putting stuff yeah. on and thinking of colour contrast. And what would you say to women who might be really scared to buy a suit in this colour? If you suit this colour, it's one of my favourite colours, buy the bloody suit. I mean, if you just have suits that are navy and black, then it feels very office wear, like you said at the beginning, Chima. Mm -hmm. So the idea of getting a colour in a suit is just fabulous. Yeah. I can't not end on a sequin trouser suit because it's so good. You can wear the trousers on their own like that, mm -hmm. or you can wear the jacket on its own. This is from MSGN, yeah. what is it? I got it 50% off in the sale for Christmas. I, I snuck some things in there, and this is a very old, not very old, it's about two years old, yeah. Paco yeah. But I've never worn them together, and I haven't styled up the suit yet. And I'm wearing high heels as well. I just love this. I think when you do it, you've got to just do it. You know, yeah. it, it's like sometimes you've got to just lean in fully and embrace. So I could tone it down with a white shirt, but I'd rather just build it up even more. I could show you 10 different ways, but we're running out of time. So let's think what we're gonna do next week, okay. darling. Oh, that was a whirlwind. It was. Yeah. Back I with a bang. Back with a bang. I hope that gave you some inspiration of just how to look at it. I think I'm going to do 10 ways to wear different things. We did it with mm -hmm. the 23 ways to wear the white shirt and we wanted to do for this week another one, but it just takes some thinking through. So I'd like you to set me challenges on 10 ways to wear and yeah. you give me the things and I will be challenged by you guys. So think of what you'd like to see worn 10 different ways. Like with Friday Twinning, Chloe's challenging me or I'm challenging Chloe. Mm -hmm. And then you are inspired by that challenge and do things yourself. With My Closet Confessions, I'd really like you to be inspired to do something. So if you feel inspired today to wear your trouser suits differently, then you could do how I would wear it and how I would tweak it to feel not so corporate. So lots of you might have been in the corporate world and aren't anymore. So look at those corporate suits before you give them away and think, how could I actually dress them down, make them more fun, change the length of the trousers, change the buttons, bring some contrasting bold color combinations in, whatever it might be. All right, so until next week. Bye. Thank you.